Oh, Tuxedo, come here. All right, episode 11. 11. We're back. That's your host, Drew and Calvin. And yeah, we are on Discord because yeah. I have I have An a sickness. unspecified virus. I have a that, sickness. That, that was very prominent two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Three, three years ago. Dang, dude. It's been a cool yeah. minute. I got through the worst of it already, so I'm... I'm doing better, but I'm still I sick. I can't come over, so but, but stuck at my place. He can't come through, so we have to do this. At this Discord. horrible laptop. So we don't. Horrible. Yeah. Webcam. So we don't want to be on Discord, but we have to do it for this podcast. Just don't, don't, don't come at us, man. Don't come at us. Don't come at us. But we posted. That's all that matters. All right. Positive quote. <laughs> positive quote. Yeah. Let's go, let's go right into it. All right. Do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. That's I a have... Bruce Lee quote. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a Bruce Lee quote. No, I haven't seen any Bruce Lee movies. Have, you haven't seen it? You any? haven't seen it? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I can't say I have. No. I didn't right. know that was a... No. Huh? I said I did know that was a Bruce Lee quote, though. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know there's yeah. a guy in a... Do you play Tekken? Uh, no, but I'm better than you at it. Okay, whatever. Anyways, Tekken, there's a character who's modeled exactly like Bruce Lee. He's my main. His name is Law. But that means nothing to you since you don't play Tekken anymore. So, well, never mind. I'll be better than you anyways, so. No, you get out of here. All right. We're going to go into the news. Ready? The news. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the news. All right. Uh, basically, the news is a very good boy scares off a curious bear sniffing around his family's home. We do have a video, but we're gonna skip the video. Um, are you gonna? Are you screen sharing the article? Yeah. Uh, just a heads up. I, I don't know if I said it earlier, but yeah, he can't, I can't see, see what screen. you guys are seeing. He so because we're on this. Discord, so I have no idea what you guys are looking at. I'm literally just listening to Drew talk. <laughs> so. That's that's just me gonna be hearing all this information. So yeah, it's just that the bear. Actually, here I can play this video. Right. Can you hear that? Just say what's happening in the video. I can't hear it. Oh, guess just, it. This just, is usually what just I do. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. You're supposed to talk while the Shh. because you know we have audio listeners. Just be through quiet, Drew. They can hear. Not there. They can hear the. So basically, a, a bear walks in to this this family's home. They okay. basically like nudges its way into the door and starts going to the kitchen, and just sniffing around. And this dog just jump scares the bear and like runs at him, and the bear darts out of the house. And oh, what? then and then the mom comes up and locks the locks the door, and the day is, was saved by the dog. Very good boy, okay. scaring off cool. the curious bear. Very you ever nice. you ever seen a bear or been in any? I we, talk, we talked about this, I thought. About the bear story when I was yeah, when I yeah. went to that camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I said too, too much about it. I just know that when I was, if I haven't said, if I already said it before, my bad, but I'll say it one more time just in case. Uh, when I was at a camp in like middle school, we went in these cabins. No, actually, I don't think I did tell this story. So when I camped with my middle school, we, we had these cabins that we were in. And I'll never forget that the next morning, this whole group of guys, because it was, you know, guys' cabins and girls' cabins. Yeah, so yeah. it was one of the guys' cabins. Uh, and one of my buddies comes up and he's screaming. Everybody's screaming. They're talking about, like, oh, my gosh, we saw a bear. Apparently, a bear, like, the night before, Apparently. tried to get into their garbage. And that was really unfunny. Like, tried to get into their garbage and was, like, making a ton of noise outside their cabin huh. and, like, knocked over a bunch of stuff and... I think because one of the one of the kids put like food that they weren't supposed to in that garbage can, so just I'll I wish that I had seen that. That'll bear, do though. it. That'll do it. All right, cool. Knocking out the news. Um, Wait, have you seen a bear? Yeah, I I talked about it last episode. I don't really remember that. <laughs> I'm not, that we didn't review that one. Remember, I almost so I, I almost got in a tussle with my friend, and then we went back to the. To, while we were going back to the campsite, we saw a bear and cubs. I don't think you said this. Okay, I, I did. I did okay, say well, it last time. Just but... tell me later then because I don't want to make them have to re-listen to it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Again, I didn't watch last week's episode either because we didn't review it or anything. So, 
We didn't review it together. I did. I watched it because I'm dedicated. But anyways, no, we can jump no, into. No, 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 no. That's not cool. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not cool. All right. Anyways, let's jump into subreddit of the day, and we got life pro tips. Wait, All wait, right. hold up. My cat is coming up real quick. I don't I know. Show I don't know why cat. we have to hold on for that. Look at my cat. <laughs> Kitty. <gasps> All right. Anyways. Anyways, we are going to do life pro tip. I already picked out a few that uh, I like. So here you go. Okay. Uh, did you put it on the screen? You can. Well, you yeah. You can't see it, but yes, it's on the screen. Okay. Um, life pro tip: pair something you don't want to do with something you do want to do. Um. And basically, that's, that's yep. I do let, that. All let me the time. read. Let me read the caption. It, it goes: If you're struggling with doing things you need to do but hate, like working out, chores, pair with something you will look forward to. And then someone says personally, he says personally, like uh, he likes to get like a podcast going, and then he can start working out or whatever. And it's like, yeah, that's a great idea. What were you gonna say though? No, I, I do that every. That's how I got myself to floss. I'll just bring my floss. My mom used to hate when we did this as kids, so there was like a rule against it. Uh, but that's fine. I don't, I don't live with my mom anymore. Love you though, mom. But I uh, I go into the living room, turn on the TV, and I just start flossing my teeth while the TV is on. Huh? Because I hate flossing, dude. Dude, who doesn't hate flossing? Everyone hates flossing. That's an interesting way to floss. Yeah. I will say when I work out though, I do not listen to music. Usually I, when I work out, I go with my brother. But when I, I go know on my own, I know I, I there is one specific song. song that you like to listen to when you work out. What the Superman song? Or <laughs> I don't listen to music when I work out. Yeah, but I have seen you put the Superman song on and then do. Like, yeah, pull, that was that's because I was ups. going for a personal record on the bench. Of course, of course. I'm I, just saying it's just. I'm gonna, that's one workout. I'm saying when I do like a whole. So for the rest of the of the 59 minutes that I'm there for the doesn't day, matter. I don't listen to music. Oh my gosh! And that was one time, dude. Get out of here, man. You have an obsession. Get out of here. You have an obsession with, with Superman. That's what it is. I love Superman. Love Superman. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so yeah, that's a that's a good life. I'm pro tip. Superman, that's why I'm obsessed. It is a good pro tip. My bad. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> no <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. Chill. All right, go. All right, next life pro tip. We got two more. This one and one more. And it's a quote. It says, you are not rich enough to buy cheap things. This guy says, my dad always told me that growing up. And the older he got, the more wisdom he saw in that. Like, he says, no. Now, whenever someone suggests that I buy something that is cheap and cheap in quality, I make sure to remind them that I'm not rich and can't afford it. So, regardless of if he's rich or not, he just tells himself he can't afford it. And he just he just doesn't buy, like, you know, things that seem inexpensive but like obviously over time you know good it's a good way to good pro tip to like save money that. you know that's nice so yeah i mean and the reason i i remember how i told you that i had a perfect one for me and you this was it because it's like you could benefit <laughs> from his pro tip i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> get so, out of here so yeah you think you have all this money what are you calling me poor? Dude, I would never say that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one. Dude, I would never say that. I would just heavily heavily, heavily <laughs> imply it by talking about how rich I am and all this money I have every week. Dude, I'm I'm not rich. I, I can't afford anything. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> all right. Last life pro tip. Uh, okay. It says, just invite people to things. Don't ask them if they're free. It's a good way to get around like that awkwardness of being like, okay, hey, hey, like, are you free? You want to come with? Blah, blah, blah. If you just be like, hey, I'm going to this thing. Come with me. You gotta come with me. Then they could just have the option to say yes or no. It's like it's easy like that, you know. So I think that's a good pro tip. You kind of skip the awkwardness and be like, yo, are you coming or not? You know. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Another little life pro tip. So yeah, cool. I like it. 
Uh, nice. We are we are crushing it. Uh, we're going so fast. I think it's because we don't. Oh, are we? I think it's because we don't like being on Discord, or maybe it's. <laughs> I but, hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I mean, anyways, we're hit, we're ten, ten minutes in. Uh, is it, well, it's time for the whatever segment, right? Is it time for the whatever segment? I thought I missed something. I don't. It's so weird not being in the same room. Yeah. This is gonna have some things we're getting used to. All right, so I have some questions for you, sir. Okay, okay let's go. Let me, let me full screen this. Answers. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. What is something that is way less dangerous than people think it is? Honestly, this is just this is subjective. This is just something I've always thought. I, I think we've talked mm-hmm. about this kind of before, but I think going into the ocean is a lot more dangerous than people think it is. Look, bro. No, this is something that's way less dangerous than people think it is. Oh. <laughs> but okay. let's do both. Let's do both. Okay, that's a lot way more Way less dangerous. dangerous? Yeah. Huh. Something that people think is dangerous that's not very dangerous. Bro, I don't put me on the spot what do you got i I have i have an answer i guess um people might disagree with me um but i think skateboarding without a helmet isn't as dangerous as everyone thinks it is uh okay i mean that's i mean you know like when you don't wear a helmet you're not even supposed to uh, i was gonna say you're not even supposed to wear a helmet really when you skate but i Um, guess bro i guess you cannot show up with a skate group and be the only one wearing that helmet, bro. Bro, bro okay. I want to. I want to destigmatize. Destigmatize this. No. Yes, I you can. can. You could totally show up with a helmet, bro. Bro, actual skaters, they do not care if you wear a helmet or not. I. Like, for you're real. acting like I've like I've never skated before, bro. I've seen your board. You don't we skate. Together. What you do don't you skate. Shut up. Shut up. You're Shut garbage. Up. Get Bro, out of here. He whatever. has he has rubber grip tape. It's rubber on yeah. top. Okay. It's not like actual tell grip. You guys it's, why? I, it's it doesn't rubber. matter. It's just as grippy. Okay. So <laughs> no, it's not. I use, so for those of you who who may or may not know, real skateboards have well, it's just as real. Typically, people <laughs> you use just uh, sandpaper grip tape, right? Um, I used to use sandpaper grip tape, but the problem with sandpaper grip tape My is shoes. obviously it destroys your shoes. And and shoes for skating are like uber expensive, so I have. I think if you ask any skater, that's more okay. lame than wearing a thank, helmet. Thank you, thank you. Can I? That's can I more. That's more lame than wearing a helmet. That's for so, sure. I have grip tape that's made of like the material that's like on the back of ping pong ba- uh, paddle. <laughs> so it's like, bro, it doesn't destroy my shoes. It works just as well. I don't care what anyone says. It works just as well. And I don't spend fifty million dollars on skateboarding, 50 so million it's not. Dollars. It's not skateboarding is an expensive hobby, and any real skater would tell you that it is an expensive hobby. Absolutely, don't look at me like that. How many pairs of shoes have you gone through skateboarding? Like four, five. What type of shoes were there? Vans. Vans. Just, just regular Vans. Vans yeah. One pair of Vans is sixty bucks. You know how many shoes I've gone through skateboarding? One and as soon as I went through that one pair of shoes, I said never again. It might be expensive for it you. ripped through my sock and made my foot hurt. Nah, <sighs> calm down, dude. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think it's skateboarding. I'm not saying I don't think that it's lame when people wear a helmet. I'm afraid of people thinking that I'm lame if I wear a helmet. Plus, it can't really fit over my head. I, right I have worn a helmet before. Like you brought a helmet that once. one time we, or one of the times I went with you. Yeah. you there was a helmet. It just got in my way. Hurt. It just got in my way. I mean, yeah. I, I think it's useful, but it, it just got in my way. Um, no, I can't think of anything that's like less dangerous, bro. I don't know. Hmm. 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 Nothing. Not even like surfing. I don't know. No. Hmm. Wow, are you gonna have to pass up on this question? I'm just gonna pass. I just pass. I don't, I don't think you can do that. I think I can just, I can <laughs> just pass. No. 
Dang, this man got sick. He doesn't know how to act. I'm I'm sick. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Ask me. So this question. is the next one. What is if you could if you could entirely get rid of one modern day phrase, what would it be? I know. I already know. What? Lit. I hate when people say lit, bro. I hate it. Maybe people, maybe kids don't say that anymore. But at least when I was in high school and even some people I know now. It's lit. And they're also in their 20s. Like the only person who should be able to say that is Travis Scott. Anyone else who says it's lit is it's cringe. So cringe. Like when I when I when I'm talking to someone they go, "Oh, it'll be lit." You instantly make me not want to go. I don't like that word. I've never liked that word. It is so unbelievably cringe. I've never unironically used that word. I only use that word just in jokes. I can't. I can't. The <clears throat> I got I got one. Okay. I, I think I don't like it when people say, uh, nah fam. I don't like it when people oh. are, <laughs> <laughs> Nah fam. <laughs> because I don't I don't know. I just I just don't like it when people say like fam or or call me fam. fam. Yeah, like, just fam call me is... bro. I don't know. When, yeah, when people call me, yeah, when people call me fam, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to take it. It's like, are, do you yeah. see me as like real family, or is that just like a, <laughs> is that just lingo? It's like, what's the point? I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, that's those two words kind of came around. I just like, don't popularize around the same time, like yeah. fam and lick. Ugh. I just don't say fam. Ugh. Not fam. No. Nah, fam. But let's get lit. <laughs> let's get lit, fam. No, dude. No, bro. And I don't think that means what you think it means, by the way. Yeah, um, I hate this court. All right. <laughs> um, this next one I have is, what is an unwritten rule you must respect? I know. I'll have one. When you're walking, when you're walking one way and someone's walking towards you the other way, you don't greet them, you don't give them the head nod, you don't say what's up until you're like within like six feet of them, like probably six to ten feet. That's the safe zone. If I see you, and I'm like, let's say like 15 feet away from you, like, and you and you do this, and I go, <laughs> now we're just looking at each other as we're crossing past each other. And I can't do that, bro. I must always, always do it like while I'm closer to you. I won't even look at you until we get close. Because it's so awkward for me. Like, that type of thing is really, really awkward. Huh. I've got two kind of... i got two kind of unwritten rules. It's... it's on, The first one's going to sound, like, weird. I don't know if anyone else does this. But I always try to open the door for everybody. I don't care if they say thank you. I don't Absolutely. care if they say please. I, I'm always like trying to open that door for someone. Um, I don't know. It's just It just seems like the nice thing to do. And then yeah. the other unwritten rule that is if, if someone opens the door for me, I always kind of like take a moment. If I'm with people too, I'll take a moment, pause, and see if anyone else wants to go first. And then I'll, I'll like look at the person holding the door and I'll, you know, I'll give them a head nod or say thanks or yeah. whatever. I always kind of try to show that acknowledgement for like, you know, if someone's doing that for me. So, and I always yeah, like yeah. pause, pause for a sec, say something and then go in, you know, like, hey, appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Even moment. when I was younger, I was known as a guy who always said thank you when people opened the door. How do you not say thank you when you open the door? Thanks. Appreciate that. I don't get mad when people don't say thank you. I think about it. I'm like, hmm. I didn't say thank you, but then sometimes, not, sometimes I don't get mad, but I'll be like, I don't get mad. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're cool. Uh, yeah, I don't. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, it just, it just, it confuses me when people don't say thank you. It's like what? It's like I just, yeah. I just did this for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's all I have for the questions. So I think it's time for the for mid list. The mid -list. It's not as fun. When I'm the mid list. Oh. <laughs> Discord. Discord. No. Bro, this chair is so uncomfortable. Yeah. My oh my gosh. Huh? Me too, bro. All right, go. Well, you me, have me. the chair we always sit in. I don't. I have a crappy chair. Ah. Oh. Uh. What's the? It's a, yeah. That's eleven. It's you. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Influencers. Influencers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. They're on my mid list. Uh, just... Oh, that's on your mid list. Yes. I thought you were making a joke saying that we were. Oh wow. No, 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 no. Influencers. I totally mid- thought that you were making a joke. Okay. I think that anyone who's just like the influence just get projected as like, hey, if, hey, they're doing it. So anyone, any normal person can do it. It's like, I don't know. I don't. I don't put influencers on this pedestal of like, oh no, look, weird. they're doing something that cool. Like I'm gonna do that now. It's like. No, I just think everyone's like just a normal person, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know why they put influencers in front of things to like try to, you know, get normal people to do things. No, I agree. With Anyways, that. yeah. I so, and I just think they're. I, I'm not a big fan either. And I just think they're all stuck up. Yeah, I think a lot of people can agree, but you know, they think they're better than everyone just else. Not a good role yeah. model. Yeah. Yeah. You. Well, who are you to say that, to to deem yourself my role model? You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right, yeah. number. Oh, I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, so for me, mine is gonna be In and Out Burger. Really mid. Really mid. All right, guys. There's that's nothing... the podcast. I'm no. kicking him off the podcast. No, He's no. Off. If somehow in the on the East Coast you don't have it or something and you found our channel and you're from the East Coast, we're from the West Coast. No, come on. Now. Try In and Out, dude. In and Out is so mid. Oh, come on. It is so mid. Their fries are soggy. Fry or light. Like, or they're 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 either soggy or they're like like just like gross. Their milkshakes don't have enough flavor. Uh so it's like really milky. Uh they're <laughs> Their burgers are all right. I mean, you got to put the spread on it, like extra spread, but I shouldn't have to put more of the spread that's already on it to enhance the flavor of the burger. And it still <laughs> doesn't make it good. It makes it all right. They have too many vegetables on there. Like the lettuce is like 90% of their burgers. Nah, man. Nah, man. In and out is okay. so bad. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I'm not. No, dude. If you're if I'm you not. are from the East Coast, you should try In and Out and not listen no to him. Just stick with stick with Culver's. Stick with Culver's. The best meat. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick with Culver's. You shouldn't try it. It's not worth In-N-Out's it. In and Out's good, dude. Shut up. What's your favorite thing to get there? Oh yeah, that's right. They only have three things on the menu. Number one, the single burger. Number two, the double burger. And number three. The fries that have onions on them. That's it. Whatever. That's the, that's that's their whole menu of, of food to eat. Oh, I'm sorry. You can also turn it into a grilled cheese sandwich. And it'll just be their mid You're dumb and everybody knows it. two buns and a piece of cheese. And it's the best thing ever. Get out of my face. All right. Next on the mid list for me, we got the Metaverse. The metaverse? The metaverse. <laughs> you know, you've never even been to the metaverse. Bro, but I've seen, like, video of it. Oh, you can't say that something's mid that you've never experienced. Bro, That's well, ridiculous. Bro, but, but when, no. The I, metaverse. But when you look at it, when you look at it, it's like, it's Smoking just like. It's in my backyard. It's like a really blocky, awkward, like, version of The Sims. It just, it doesn't look like anyone has any, like, real fun on there. Like, it's basically just. You know, uh, VR chat, but you can buy things. It doesn't. It doesn't look like. Didn't they just include legs like, like a couple See, months that, ago? That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> maybe in a in a in like a year or a few years, it's gonna like get good. But right now, yeah. it's like all the hype for the metaverse. It it doesn't live up to the hype right now. It's just. I mean, what I want is I want like, you know, like what augmented reality is. When you wear like a like a suit or something, right? Like a full body suit. No, so augmented re- well, kind they use they do that to create augmented reality like scenarios, but like augmented reality, like let's say like I have like uh, what I would want. This is my dream, like a pair of glasses, right? Yeah. And through the glasses, I can like touch something on the glasses, and it like brings up a display of like 
mm. like that I would normally see on my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could have something like that, that I could do that, or I can even like look at something and I could click on, I could just like click on something like in real life, but like in front of my glasses so it would see what I'm touching and it would like tell me about it. I think something like that would be cool. Yeah. So I, I think that's cooler than like VR, like the metaverse. I feel like that'd be cooler. Like, I feel like that'd be more beneficial to education than the metaverse because part of the things that Mark Zuckerberg was saying was, oh, we're gonna we're gonna use this to develop students and all that stuff. Like, isn't Google on, doing Mark. something like that with the Google Glasses? I'm, they tried, like, like when I was a middle schooler, I think. I think they're still working on it. Or listen really? To new, or listen to design. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I haven't I looked it up know. recently, but... Google know. Glasses, that, that did not catch on. That's all I know. I didn't know yeah. too much about it. But Google's, they're always trying to do something. People don't, yeah, them. people don't really trust Google for anything other than search. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Go ahead. Um, that's funny actually mine is actually is Facebook Ooh. that was so I didn't even wow okay. well, that's well very... you mean meta right no I mean the platform Facebook not the company I mean the platform Facebook the social media platform uh, yeah I don't like Facebook anymore it's it's so I never I've never had a Facebook account really I'll just go to Instagram I'm way younger than you oh yeah 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 that's um, I, yeah. no one my i i don't know anyone my age who has a facebook unless it's for like their family or something facebook was a lot of fun when when i was like a freshman in high school <laughs> facebook that's so funny like facebook to me it just we just say oh you can just we'll be friends on facebook like that's like it's like you're joking with okay me. people like, don't people don't say that Facebook. Facebook was yeah, fun yeah, yeah, when it was like yeah, the beginning. <laughs> when it was like the beginning and it's like you're jumping in, like everyone's jumping shit from MySpace and like troll everyone's trolling on Facebook, you know. It was like the main <laughs> No, I don't the know. Main, well, yeah, you don't, but it was like the main main thing, you know. Nah, dude. <clears throat> Facebook. Cool, no. yeah, no, I don't like Facebook. I, I don't that, I don't even know how to use Facebook. That's that's I don't even know how to start a Facebook account. No, no, it anyway. wouldn't be that hard, bro. Don't act like it's. It. They're just behind. Ev they're behind on everything. They try to keep up with everything that like Instagram is doing. Everything with Snapchat. They even got their own version of like YouTube Shorts and like Reels and TikToks. Facebook has that now. I don't know if you knew that, Facebook but they shorts. have that. <laughs> they just shorts? now got it. Facebook, oh, yeah, it's something like that. Facebook is. <laughs> Facebook is the Internet Explorer of social media. <laughs> 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 Like, no one uses it anymore. It's way behind. Like, you remember those Internet Explorer memes? Yeah, Internet Explorer like, sucks. <laughs> That's all I used to use. Facebook's still in yeah. the game, though. Whatever, man. It's still in the game. MySpace Whatever. dropped off, but Facebook's still in the game. I don't, I don't know how. Probably because it's the first outbreak of that. Facebook like, it wasn't... Was it wasn't huge. MySpace wasn't, like... I don't know because I wasn't, a, like, a really around for it. But MySpace wasn't like as big of a boom as Facebook was, from what I understand. Who was it? Did you just yawn on the podcast? I nah, bro, I need rest. I'm sick. I don't care if you have some unspecified virus. I don't care. I'm sick. Don't don't yawn on the podcast. You're ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous. You're all right. Ridiculous. Uh, you suck at Pokemon, so whatever. No, I I'm way better than you at Pokemon. You're good at over leveling your Pokemon. Four two. That's how you beat. Me. Four two. Yeah, and so those first two matches that you beat me in, how much higher level were your Pokemon? Four than mine? two. Way higher. Four level. two. Way. Four two. Two episodes were like three, four levels higher than mine. Was that? Was that? Four two. Get out of here. Seed bomb. Seed Question bomb. mark. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> nah, I will say though, it's Drew. Is better gold. than you. If you guys play Pokemon. Drew did not strike gold. Pokemon. Drew Hear went, me out. went on a mining you're gonna, you're expedition. Gonna agree with, you're going to agree with me. Okay, you're cool. Okay. Can I talk? I'll hear you out, loser. Gosh. So, Drew, wow, we're really gamery today. The podcast on the Discord and all that. Anyways, um, Drew struck gold. No. He found this Pokemon. No, that no. Looks no. Like a flamingo. No. And it has <laughs> the best stats of 
any it's like a six i trained him to be because like that that won't mean anything i trained him don't know pokemon that won't to mean be anything. like that if you know pokemon you know that means something he has like a six iv flamigo and it's it destroyed my whole team and that was really humiliating it's I six and then, I, them. and then then mine mine destroyed his whole team like a couple rounds later our, with one move our, I had one move okay so I have four. I have four wins, and he has two wins against each other. So that should tell you everything you need to know. You really struck gold. I didn't strike gold. That, I, I trained that, my Pokemon. I choose Pokemon. the right Pokemon, and I train it's them up. Naturally, you because gotta, I'm OG, and I know how to train Pokemon. And you just OG. choose random ones, and you're like, oh, seed okay. bomb. Oh. Go, go, go! Get a Game Boy or something. Go play on a Game Boy, bro. So yeah, Game Boy Color. Um, all right. Well, I think that's all we have, unless you have bonus content. Yeah, bonus content. <laughs> bonus. Uh, did I have that today? Mm. No, I have it. My bad. I have oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you had I bonus. bonus. I had bonus. Bonus. That's it. You was. had bonus. Bonus. Yes. Right, 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 right. Okay. So there we go. Lately, there have been two things that I've been into. Number one is Fast and Furious, and watching all the movies. Uh, number two. Really? Has been bowling. Huh, what? You've been watching all the Fast and Furious movies? Yeah, I just watched the fourth one last night. Jeez. Yeah. It's it's really good. The second one was re- was a really, really, really good movie. It's I give it like a 9 out of 10. Cool. All right. And, and, then, and then you said and then bowling? Bowling is the second thing that I've been doing. I don't know why, but I just keep finding myself in situations where I end up bowling. I can beat you in bowling. I'm not saying I'm good at bowling. I just do it for fun. I'm yeah, not but, good at Yeah, bowling. but I can beat you at bowling. At bowling. <laughs> okay, whatever. Dude. Whatever. I, I can beat you at bowling, so. Okay, cool. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Anyways, what's, what's the highest you've ever bowled? What's the highest you've ever bowled? It's like a 100. 101. <laughs> 101 over here. Oh my gosh! Get out of here! What can I say? Do you do you watch Fast and Furious? By the way, I know I'm joking. No, no. Obviously. I've probably seen the first two, and then I really, and then I just you didn't watch them. Tokyo Drift. No. Really? That's a really good movie. Tokyo Drift is a really really Ooh, good Tokyo. movie. Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'd be down to watch it. It's good. It's good. I love that movie. Watched it with a good friend of mine the first time. Well, it's a special place. Cool. Um, but that I was just going to talk about bowling a little bit, but oh, you know what else I was going to say about bowling too? I think that bowling is one of those things that is unnecessarily hard to do. Like, I don't know why, but it is really hard to do. Like. There are like twenty different balls you can do, use, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, twenty different, twenty different bowling balls. Oh my like, God, dude! Ah, <laughs> oh, no, dude, bowling's like, not hard. Bowling's not, they all uh, weigh different sizes. So you have to figure out which one it is. Oh no, like which one works for you? It's annoying because that takes into your game and that takes into your like time to, that you do that. So it's like you have to find what what works for you. I don't know. I just feel like it's... You spend five minutes in the beginning to choose your ball or two, and then you go ball. What do you mean? Mm-mm. What do you it's mean? It's not Mm-mm. that easy. It is that easy. It's not easy. that easy. It's not, the, it's, not as, it's not as easy as you just choose it because different weights work differently. That means you ah. don't know. You haven't learned it yet, so you're still in like the learning process. Well, you're old, so you've had more time to learn it than I have, so... All right. Well, you have the bonus bonus content. You oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that right, 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 right. Let me see. I wrote it down. Over here. A bonus bonus content. Mm. No. <laughs> no bonus bonus. I must have erased it because I had a pencil. <gasps> Dang, we only, deliver. If only I had a Uh-oh. pen, I probably could have done it. But. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That was so long ago. All right. Yeah, I got no bonus right. bonus. We're wow. 36 minutes in. Wow, okay, cool. 
Okay. Well, I hope you. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you this, this next week podcast in person. In uh, person, because I won't be sick anymore. And Hopefully, we never do this again. Yeah, I know. Discord was not fun. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it though. But uh, yeah, it. I won't lie. It was kind of fun. <laughs> okay. It uh, was kind of fun. It was. It was. Uh, Episode 11 on the books. Episode 11 on the books. Peace.